Heading up to snow on the ground this morning. And uh, as you're heading out, the big question this morning, how are road conditions? Yeah, let's get right to it. We're joined on the phone by MoDOT engineer Brian Unteed. Brian, what does it look like today and what's maybe the plan to keep those conditions safe? So starting yesterday, uh, about noon, we have had about three to five inches across the entire district. Uh, the snow tapered off through the night last night, but we are expecting some more snow to move into portions of our area through the day today and possibly some um, light glazing of ice and, and more significant ice to the south. So we want drivers to, to be prepared for that. We've had crews out since yesterday when the snow started. Uh, they've been out all night working on the roads. The uh, Our continuous ops routes are major roads like 61, 36, 24. They've been ran and treated. We have crews monitoring them. Uh, our crews have also been busy getting out on those black tops and uh, letter droughts in the uh, in the lower tra travel areas and, and making sure they get a pass over those. We're uh, on those right now. We've got most of them ran. There's still a few more that we we got to get in a step before the uh, people get up and start moving for their morning commutes. The crews are out there on those and, and working on those. So the roads are are partly covered covered across the the district, the, the majors are a little bit better. Some of them are partly covered. The uh, you know those black tops and and uh, letter droughts are still covered, even though we've been over most of them and treated them. It's just going to take some uh, take some good weather and, and sunshine to help get them cleared up the rest of the way. Brian, as you uh, were talking, we were showing people uh, MoDOT's Traveler Map. That's a good resource for people as they're heading out to get a look at what roads are like this morning. And as you mentioned, roads are. Uh, either covered or partially covered in most of our area. Um, also, Route H is still closed, as indicated on the map. That's right? Yeah, Route H is closed to, to traffic. We'd like to keep people off that. That's a route that that if it gets a lot of outside traffic or people trying to cut through there, it's, it's not a good road for semi-trucks or, or people not familiar with it to travel down. And so we, we encourage people to stay off that route, um, you know, and... and to, to avoid that, we have some other routes that we do that within the district just to just to help avoid incidents and, and keep our first responders and our our uh, snowplow operators safe and, and ask people to stay on the major roads as much as they can and, and avoid those back those uh, loader routes and, and like that unless they live on them or have a reason to be out there. All right, Brian, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to talk to you a little bit later in the morning. We appreciate it.